the first week of the 2019 season, we definitely was very excited for. I think, I think the term I'd use is cautiously optimistic, uh, because you know, going through the off-season practice, everything's going to go through their ups and downs. They're going to figure out, you know, where the leadership is, you know, how the how the strategy and structure is going to work. And uh, scrims overall were going pretty well, but we still had some areas that we needed to work on, uh, you know, going into the first week. Um, so we were definitely optimistic. We felt like if we could get that under control quick, then we would be extremely comfortable and be able to really push our style. Diva, diva, low left, diva, low left, diva, low left. We were pretty happy with some of the strategies we were running, and it was working pretty well for a lot of the teams we were running them on. We knew that Shock was a very versatile team, and it's getting a lot of a lot of hype from from various casters and other teams um, as one of the teams to beat this season, just because of the changes they made. We, we were pretty optimistic about how it was going to go. We, we felt pretty good. We, we had a couple strategies that we felt like would be strong against them, um, and they, we were executing them well in practice leading up to Shock game. Which, uh, you know, we, we felt good about. It. The players definitely were excited, but I think excitement is is kind of a double-edged sword. Um, because on, on, on one side you have, you know, everyone's excited to play, they're ready to go, they want to get the season underway. At the same time, you have that aspect of nervousness or, you know, they're, they're excited, but they don't, you know, they don't want to fail or they don't, they don't want to make mistakes, you know, so. Um, and I think that, that played a, a big factor into how we performed on stage. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for Dallas Fuel versus San Francisco Shock Guy and Michaelio's back. It felt good to be back. Um, I think the players that had played before, you know, being back on stage was, was welcoming and it was exciting. I think having that long of an off season, you know, really makes it to where players are really wanting to get back on stage and wanting to be able to play in front of the fans. So uh, the turnout was great. We had a lot of field supporters in the crowd and it was a really good feeling to be able to be back in competition again. Well, they need to push back against the hype that San Francisco's riding in on. Let's see if Dallas can snatch that out from underneath of them as we go ahead and kick off this series on Nepal, starting with Shrine. With that translocator, keep himself safe in over the top. Raj is going to be coming down straight on top of their heads. Double kill over to Rascal as he gets rid of the tank line. Final Rage now going to be popped. Everybody's right next to the ledge. Oh, jeez. Pops his way back in. Keeps himself safe. Makes sure that he's not sailing over the edge with the rest of San Francisco. Shot pushes his way up, but he shortly finds his demise. Following in right behind OG. That will be the closeout. Just Francisco one map. Shot. Take a breath. Stage nerves, first map, shake it off, we have the next one, okay? We had really good switches. Yeah. It's just like, keep on just very... Yeah, we just lost momentum. Yeah. Going into the first couple maps, we had some good instances. Um, we, you know, there were some swaps that I think worked out in our favor. We, we couldn't quite close out the first map. In the second map, Shock had some pretty uh, specific strategies. Kind of didn't necessarily take us by surprise, but it worked really well against how we were running. No one can get to the cart, and there you have it, San Francisco Shock going up 2-0. No patience there. Stay confident, like even though we split in that one, it happened. Shake it off, get over it, doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is the next map, okay? So whatever happened, whether it was our mistake or them playing good, doesn't matter. Only thing that matters is next, all right? So during this time, deep breath, we trust each other, and we go next. A lot of the decision making that you have to do uh, has to be done quickly um, and as a unit. And with the players feeling a lot of pressure, not wanting to make mistakes, kind of being nervous, I think that kind of got up to us. I'm on stage, and so when you, when you look back at the game and you look at how we executed our plays and our strategies we had, we're very slow, and we're very indecisive, and shock style was very good for a team that's playing slow. They finally managed to do so, but OG, he is so very low. They move off the point for just a second, and San Francisco shock will take an incredible semester strategy. They teased. I mean, we are we are we are very nervous for the first match. We know our worst and we are so much better better than that. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about it. We learn it, we're gonna learn from it and move on. Yeah. I think that game kind of got away from us, but it was like overall, I think it was a great learning experience for us. With the roster mix we're currently running, it's almost, you know, a whole new team. I'm sure we have a few returning members in that starting seven. There's still a lot that the team needs to work out together, like on stage, and how you act when you're in the heat of the moment and all that kind of stuff. We knew right away what the issue was. So what we did is we sat down and had a heart to heart as a team where we talked about it and went kind of dove into it. 
part of the way that we're building things is like is we're a family. So if we have these issues, like we're gonna sit down, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna figure out a solution and, and go forward. So we needed to not be afraid to make mistakes. You know, in a game, mistakes are gonna happen. If every team were to play perfectly, the game wouldn't be fun to watch. A lot of it's about taking risks and capitalizing on enemy mistakes, or if you take a risk and it's something that can, can be punished, it's how do you outplay that? And so part of that was us kind of pushing into that mindset that we're not gonna be indecisive. We're gonna make a call and we're all gonna stick to it. We didn't wanna be defined by that first match against Shock. We wanted to translate scrims to stage. So that's what we did. No one wanted to be owned to. You guys ready what for tomorrow now? Yes. Slam <laughs> them. So when we were looking at our match versus Soul, we knew that they're beatable. We had a lot of strategies from the first match to the second match, and then really focused on not being afraid to make decisions. And I think AKM really kind of stepped up in that manner to kind of help the the younger guys with you know not being afraid to make decisions on stage, not being afraid to make mistakes. So in the Soul match, we already had our you know our strategies were laid out. We felt good about the scouting. We felt good about what plans we were going to run. We were excited going into it, and we knew that as long as we could keep the fire that we had in practice and the things we talked about together and push it, then and we'll be we just can fine. we expect the, uh, this Busan mecha base to get completely trashed. It's gonna be Roron versus Burn Blue here to start off the series. It'll be a rally and a grab that comes out early. OG in caught in the very thick of it here. He's so low, somehow stays alive. The sound barrier, perfect Huge. timing from closer. It doesn't get any better than that, so this is a much better look from the Dallas Fuel as opposed to their first match of the season. Against the Shock, they look indecisive, they looked a little bit scared. Here it seems like they've got that covered. Start Dexa really needs to sell this point out, kind of like Mock did in the previous series, but it's so hard. Dallas want to win more, it's as simple as that. Okay, guys, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Everyone needs to be on the same page. We execute the plan together, okay? Keep our ults good, keep our tracking good, we call the play and we do it, all right? Keep it up, boys, we're doing good. We weren't afraid to make our plays. And even though we weren't playing like the standard, uh, you know, you know, GOATS comp, we still were aggressive, we still had uh, our style and our plan and we executed it and it was really good. Okay, we don't make it. This is taking me back now. You needed somebody who can cast. Orisa shield broken. Dallas is still relatively durable. Fish has to... Oh, Jexa! Oh, no. That's the pick! That's the golden shot! And he's got another one! Again, oh. it's back! Three kills with the Widowmaker! And the Dallas Fuel have found the key! And they have split Soul Dynasty in half! And now they can sit down and enjoy themselves. Finally, the French legend has returned to the stage. Thank you, man. All right, energy is good, but we need to stay focused, okay? Don't get too hyped. We are playing, we're playing good. All right, so keep it up. Remember our swaps, our swaps have been But does mean that Flutter now is going to one of the field with a Graviton Surge. No doubt he's gonna try and use that as well as possible. The rally from Dallas Fuel, we heard it. It, it heralds their push forward. So Sol take a big old step back. Here's the transcendence coming out of J-Hop. OG is down and Unko doesn't go for his transcendence here. He chooses not to use it until very late. And it's far too late now. Oh! Okay! I was wrong! Oh la, you're so loud. Oh, sorry. Minus 500. Hey, Dylan, song. Song? Yes. No. See what they're looking for, but they need more. Jay Hong Discord and Unko chunking him down, and he's finally fallen to Michelle. Picks up AKM now, and it's just. Scared seconds remaining here, a couple players left. Dallas still with the numbers. Arsene Case Mech has been removed. Unko getting damage done. He's so safe in the back, and that's it! Get in, Munchkin's actually forced all the way around. He's in a really bad spot. I mean, oh, there it is, that's two. I mean, that would have forced Soul back if Munchkin could get back, but he couldn't escape from that position. Oh, it's a whitewash! 
Dannisville just rolled over the top of the Soul Dynasty and they are so yes, far away. Here, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats. This one's about to get spicy. Zachary sitting in the back of the payload. Oh, she's there. Jayhawks that buys casualty. Fish in the second. EMP coming out. And the Dannisville. Set the Dynasty up in flames. And that's what we call perfect combustion. Really strong series from both of these teams tonight to end it, Mitch. Dallas just showed you know, their potential, what they've been working on in the offseason. You know, pays off here in their match against Seoul. Seoul. When we took that win, everyone was just super excited because even though we did lose the first match, we already overcame a huge hurdle. And it's one of the coolest things to see as staff, to see that growth immediately within, you know, a, what was it, a two day window, uh, to be able to see that growth. And it just, it gives a lot more hope uh, for the future of the stage. Well done today, guys, seriously. I think um, that was a huge turnaround for us, okay? That was big, very, very, very good job. Seriously, proud of you guys. Um, so we're gonna, Go in and get ready for next week. We've got another two matches. Uh, we, we're overall super happy with how the Soul match went. I think it was a big win for us. I'm glad that we could we could deal with this now um, because now now we can focus on you know pushing our strategies and our depth further, um, which we're we're really excited to do. You could tell after that win, it looked like there was this weight lifted off the players' shoulders because they they fought hard and grinded to not let that, let it happen again, let the shock thing happen again. And I think everyone was, was proud of themselves because they were able to do that in such short notice. So uh, it was a big shift for everyone.